Welcome to the week one recap. Starting with the Packers, we have them losing 16 to 36 against the Seahawks. Redskins lost to the Houston Texans 17 to 6. Chiefs lost to the Titans 26 to 10. The Patriots got beat up by the Dolphins 33 to 20. On to the other games, Jets beat the Oakland Raiders 19 to 14. The Eagles came back and beat the Jaguars 34-17, regardless of what Nick Foles did. Steelers beat the rivalry, the Browns 30-27, and the Rams lost to the Vikings 34-6. Bears lost to the Bills 23-20, Bengals beat up on the Ravens 23-16, Falcons came back in overtime and beat the Saints 37-34. Last but not least, we have the Panthers beating up on the Buccaneers. 49ers showed their dominance with the defense, beating the Cowboys 28-17. The Colts almost came back, but they lost to the Broncos 31-24. The Giants lost to the Lions Monday night 35-14. And the Cardinals held on to the victory to beat the Chargers 18-17. Here's a fantasy review for week one. Matt Ryan led the quarterbacks with 31.4 points. Le'Veon Bell led the running backs with 25 points. Megatron led with 28 points. Julius Thomas led with 28 points. The Vikings defense led with 22 points. And Matt Bryant led with 17 points, all according to NFL.com. Matt Ryan led the comeback against the Saints with three touchdowns, 448 yards, 31.42 points at NFL.com. Matthew Stafford found Megatron early, 346 yards, two touchdowns. He ran one in as well at a total of 30.04. Andrew Luck tried to come back against Peyton Manning. He did okay, 370 yards, two touchdowns, but he also had two interceptions. Peyton Manning, of course, found Julius Thomas three times, 269 yards, got sacked with minus three yards, 22.46, rounding out top five quarterbacks is Carson Palmer with 304 points, two touchdowns, 14 rushing yards, ended up with 21.06 points. For the running backs, I look at the fantasy points a little bit different. Leading off, you have Le'Veon Bell, 25 points, Marshawn Lynch with 24 points, Noshawn Moreno with 19 points, DeMarco Murray with 18 points, and Mark Ingram, surprisingly, has 18 points as well. Now, if you look at the touches by a running back, that's the second chart on the bottom. Arian Foster had 29 touches. Le'Veon Bell had 27 touches. Deshaun McCoy had 27 touches. Monty Ball had 25 touches. And Matt Forte had 25 touches. The biggest difference from being the top five points compared to what they have in touches is how many times they get into the end zone without having the costly mistakes. Now, touches can go with receptions or carries. Either way, you get a good system like LaShawn McCoy where he had 21 carries, but he also had six receptions. It definitely helps out. For the wide receiver position, we have Megatron leading with 28 points. Hearns leading with 23 points. A.J. Green with 19.6. Cordell Patterson with 18.8. And Steve Smith Sr. with 17.8. Little fantasy tips and tricks from me. Looking at the bottom chart, I like to like take a look at the targets. Steve Smith was targeted 15 times. Jordy Nelson was targeted 14 times. Donnie Avery was targeted 13 times. Reggie Wayne was targeted 13. And Pierre Garçon was also targeted 12 times. Again, looking at that, you can kind of see where the quarterback is going. After week number two, you can see the difference between the receivers who are highly targeted compared to the receivers that are targeted once in a while every other week. In my opinion, I believe the tight ends are the most highly undervalued asset to a fantasy football team. Julius Thomas led with 28.4 points. Vernon Davis was a far 12 points behind. 16.4, Greg Olson with 14, Zach Ertz with 13, and Martellus Bennett had 13 points. So what I look at with the tight end is where are they targeted and how many times are they targeted. For example, Dennis Pitta was targeted more than some of the receivers with 15 targets. Rob Gronkowski was targeted 11 times, almost as much as Steve Smith. Greg Olson, the same as Rob. Martellus Bennett, 10 times, and Antonio Gates, 10 times. And that is your NFL Week 1 Recap.
Tune in next week. If you have any questions in regards to fantasy football, please comment below, and I'll mention them in next week's show. Thanks.